the approach that we started taking was starting around 2003 when the Genome Project ended, to, to your point on the key three things, I think uncertainty, a systems approach, and the need for team science. When we looked at biology, biology is very fiefdom based because of the nature, it's experimental. There is no ab initio laws. So we said, could we create a collaboratory? Interesting term, right? Could you take bio biological information, have the extract the molecular pathways, couple the quantitative uh, results of that in an environment where you know that not one person could solve these very complex biological phenomena, but you need a collaboration to do that. And that's the basis of creating Cytosol. And we took that environment and we applied it to pancreatic cancer. And we went from end to end in a period of, I think, two years, where we looked at all the known pathways. We know there are holes, we know there are uncertainties, but we were able to do a, a decent modeling. We went through the 262 drugs out there for cancer. We found a two combination drug, small seven person company in Cambridge. We applied for an IND. When we applied, the FDA actually contacted us back and said, what you're doing is what Janet Woodcock wants to do in the 23rd century. We, we got the quote unquote patent for it. And now we have a relation with MD Anderson. We're doing a joint venture, all done within a period of two years. So this notion of a collaboratory and team science approach, I mean, it is the way we're going to get cures faster. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but I think the big issue is career development. I mean, how do we make sure, you know, at UCSF, at Harvard, that, that folks uh, uh, do get promoted along the way if they haven't published papers in high impact journals? This is a real problem. So, so one of the models is, why is there tenure? I mean, I'm gonna throw out some radical questions. <laughs> it's, it's a feudal form that goes back 600 years. So is there a better, better model where you keep the university as a circulating model where you come in, you work, you go to industry, industry people come in. I mean, it's sort of a radical notion. Yeah. The whole foundations here need to be relooked at. Why is there tenure? Who is anointing who? This is an old priesthood model. Does it really support us in the modern world where, there, where some people may not be able to be part of these clubs? And where does science actually get done? And the collaboration model, I think technology can help instantiate this. And otherwise, I think we're just gonna be going around tweaking little pieces and we never really get to the real core of the problems that need to be addressed.